Definitely will watch that later when I get the time. Hmm. Uh, they're coming off the heels of an epic night of In Your House. We are here live inside a brand new venue for NXT. The arena is much bigger and it's much more brighter. And we are live up here on the staging area. I'm Vic Joseph alongside Gail Kim and Booker T. What do you guys think of the new set? Honestly, it looks great. I know Patrick said that he was planning on making NXT bigger, badder, and better, but I did not expect this. we got some big matches coming our way later on tonight. Layla Gray, the new NXT All-Star Women's Champion, will be in action in our main event where she takes on her former baddie and former friend, Tracy Lara. That is going to be awesome, and that is going to be awesome, and so much more coming your way. Danton, Danton, Danton. And we're kicking things off with the brand new NXT champion who, well, we, who, who controversially won the NXT title. Well, and here comes the NXT champion alongside his, well, I guess his new friend. We still have no knowledge of this orange haired lady who helped Chris Reigns win the NXT Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the new NXT Champion, Chris Reigns! <laughs> Hello, Sean. It was a con it was a hell of a fight between Chris Reigns and Ricochet with the NXT title. Ricochet had the title had the match won. He went up for his 630 splash finisher, but then this redhead girl jumped the barricade and pushed Ricochet off the top rope, which allowed Chris Reigns Boom! They hit the spear to become NXT champion. Well, we may not know who she is, but she's clearly here tonight alongside Chris. And I think this is going to be an interesting addition of NXT. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, acknowledge your head of NXT, Chris! Reigns! I know a lot of you probably want to know who I am. Well, I'll make it very, very quick and simple. My name is Sky Lynch. I'm 25 years old and I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Chris and I have known each other for at least five years he used to come to my shows he he used to come to the shows that I used to be a part of in Melbourne City Wrestling we got together and things have blossomed since more importantly I asked him who's his favorite superstar and he told me Roman Reigns <sighs> he asked me the same question and I told him my favorite wrestler is Becky Lynch. You see, I don't have to be Irish to be inspired by Becky Lynch like that one loser on SmackDown. I serve as the wise girl for the head of NXT. And I know Ricochet is back there fuming, probably wants his rematch. Very, 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 very. Shut up. I know Ricochet is probably back there crying, wanting his rematch. Well, the head of NXT says no rematch. <sighs> Because he doesn't. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, hold on a minute. Well, here, 
comes the general manager, Eva Marie. Whoa, whoa, hold it, hold it, hold it. Who are you to make decisions on whether someone gets a title shot or not? As far as I'm concerned, Sky, you're not even under contract with WWE. So if I were you, I'd get the hell out of my building right now. Or do I have to call security to get your ass out? Whoa, 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 whoa. Who the hell do you think you are? I'm your boss, Chris. That's who I am. Sky Lynch is under contract with WWE because she signed a contract but by our CEO. So you can't fire her. You can't kick her out of the arena. You can't do anything to her. Well, she, well, if she's under contract with me, I damn sure can do something to her. Look at you, Eva, trying to act like a tough girl. You've never been a good wrestler throughout your entire career. Can someone name me one, one memorable good match that you ever had? <sighs> Listen here, Sky. I'm your boss. I can either make your life. I could either make your life good. Or I could make your life hell. And as for the stunt that you two pulled at, 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 in your house, Ricochet will indeed get his rematch. But I will name the time and place when he gets his rematch. You know, I wouldn't anger the head of NXT if I were you, Eva. You wouldn't want to see Chris when he's angry. Uso Uso Uma Run It Straight do, do, do. Oh wait a minute Here comes Zion Quinn Here comes Zion Quinn and looks like Chris and Sky are deciding to are deciding to get the hell out of the ring Man all oh, man all I gotta say is thank God for Zion Quinn Man, oh man, thank God for Zion Quinn. Otherwise, things would have looked really bad for Eva Marie. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Chris Reigns has already made a few enemies like Zion Quinn. What a what a hot way to start off NXT. I'll tell you what, Chris Reigns, and I gotta tell you, that Sky Lynch girl, she looks absolutely gorgeous. She She's a great addition to NXT, and I, for one, cannot wait to see what she brings to the table. She's a bit of a hothead, if you ask me, but regardless, this brand new venue here in NXT is big, it's nice, and I love it. I agree. And it's time for our first match of the evening. Here comes LJ, Alexia Buckley. Hey, yeah, this young girl's got a lot of potential. She's going to be a big star one day, but her, but it's not, but but tonight it's not going to be an easy task for her, because her opponent, because her opponent is Harmony Kelly. No, I made no, I built her from Chicago, Illinois. Now I made her American. Well, Harmony Kelly calls herself the hottest chick in NXT. For the first time ever, LJ and Harmony Kelly are going to go at it here tonight. Our first time ever match here on NXT. 
Look at Harmony, the hottest chick in NXT. She is going to be great. She she is wonderful. Well, Harmony Kelly, you know, cook, you know, made fun of LJ's loss in the tournament. Made fun of her, saying that 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 she's a loser, and she says, and she didn't deserve to win the tournament because she lost. So Lacey Evans, yeah, Harmony, you know, doing her usual, kicking someone while someone was down because LJ was suffering her first loss because that was the first time she's ever been pinned since arriving here in WWE and she took the loss hard. Well, Harmony Kelly, you know, she's taken losses, but she, you don't see her moaning and crying about, about, about her recent defeats. Harmony has, quite, has actually been quite a bit, has actually been on a bit of a losing streak and, and, and LJ kicking at it too as a, as Harmony. Hey, you, we don't talk about Harmony Kelly's losing streak. Well, you want to talk? Well, well, we're in the middle of talking about losing, are we? Harmony Kelly has not exactly been on the winning board for quite some time. Whoa! And Harmony Kelly being tossed all the way out to the outside. And LJ! Oh, man! And LJ diving. Taking out Harmony. Now LJ bring, brings it back in. Oh man, and a vicious clothesline by Harmony. You're nothing. Harmony is a former NXT women's tag team champion alongside her former buddy Patricia Ryan. Indeed she is. She knows what it means to be a champion. And Harmony Kelly in total control right now. Over LJ and LJ getting the shoulders up. Come on! Go faster! Kick right to the back. Into the cover again on LJ. And LJ again showing her resiliency. Kicking out at two. Let Harmony Kelly getting a little bit frustrated. You can see the frustration starting to build in that she can't put LJ away. But I gotta admit this is smart strategy from Harmony as well. She's trying to she's trying to expend all of LJ's energy so that LJ won't be able to kick out. LJ fighting out, fighting out, and oh, suplex cutter, suplex cutter by LJ, will that be enough to put Harmony away, and Harmony stays alive, Harmony stays alive, LJ finally finding the opening that she needed to get back into this match, and now Harmony, look at this, oh, beautiful slam, and LJ kicks out again, and Harmony getting very frustrated. Now the frustration is really settling in for Harmony. And Harmony Harmony's frustration is starting to get to her now. Oh, nice neck breaker. And now. And now, oh, LJ off the ropes. LJ off the ropes with a Inzaguri right to the face. Now LJ heading up to the top rope. Harmony in position. Oh! Flying fist right to the, flying fist right to the face. And now LJ on the second rope. LJ Cutter connects. And LJ gets the win. Big win for, for Alexia here tonight. That was a much needed win after her loss last week. LJ celebrating a hard fought victory. That was a much needed victory after her setback from last week against Lacey Evans.
Harmony Kelly's Harmony Kelly continues her losing ways. She's still the best. Win or lose. Hey Zion, thanks for having my back. No worries, no no worries, Eva. I wasn't gonna let Chris and his new girl bully you. Shush! Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Eva. If you ever need someone to protect you, like from that little, that weird girl Harmony, like that weird girl Sky. Maybe you should join the Alpha Academy. I could teach you the, the the Alpha way. No thanks, Chad. I've got no thanks, Chad. But thanks for the offer. You know, I'm the master of the ring. You know, I'm the master of the ring, and and I'm so good at my job as an in ring wrestler that I can put on a great match with anybody. Why don't you why don't you put your money where your mouth is and step in the ring with me a little later on tonight then? Whoa whoa hang on hold chill out there big guy. You know what? That's a great idea. Chad, you wanna prove yourself as the master of the ring? Then it's official. T later on tonight, you're gonna go one on one with Zion Quinn. Have a good night. See you later out there. And I'll be sure to do it the alpha way. Oh, lovely. Like we haven't seen that match before. Sometimes Chad just doesn't know when to keep his mouth shut, doesn't he? Once again, Chad Gable's mouth getting him in trouble. And here comes a monster. At least he can fit through the venue this time. <laughs> One and only. And here comes the former NXT champion who we heard from earlier from Eva Marie will get his rematch for the NXT title. In a later date, it's about to go down. <laughs> this following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Making their way to the ring, the team of Braun Strowman and Ricochet. It was uh, said that Ricochet was very, very upset over losing the NXT Championship. Especially in that controversial fashion. Well, I can't say I blame him. He went through all that hard work to finally prove he's a top guy. And only for Chris and his new wise girl, Sky Lynch, to pull that kind of shenanigans. Well, it kind of tells me that Chris had it all planned out. Well, it's very obvious, isn't it? Well, it's very obvious that he had it all planned out. He knew exactly what he was doing. Braun's Braun and Ricochet's opponents are already in the ring. Drew Gulak and Charlie Dempsey. Drew Gulak's uh, Gulak University is no is no longer a thing. Thank heavens. We'll be seeing Chase University a little later on tonight. Oh, oh brother. Drew Gulak claims he doesn't need his Gulak University anymore. Drew Gulak has now entered the tag team division with Charlie Dempsey. But Gulak now. Yeah, Gulak was the one that ran his mouth like on the post show on in your uh, in your house, you know, making fun of, of Ricochet for losing the NXT title. Braun Strowman even, you know, put his name in the hat as a potential contender for the NXT championship. 
you know, you know, now that Chris Reigns is the top guy, he wants to talk about being the top guy. Well, he's got his work cut out for him, especially if he ever goes one on one with a guy like Braun Strowman. And here's the and speaking and speaking of Braun, here's the tag, and now Charlie Dempsey entering the fray. So don't forget Braun and Ricochet have chemistry together as a team. They did team together for a for a brief period on SmackDown, and now Charlie. Dempsey, nice roll up on Braun Strowman. Oh man, vicious clothesline by Braun. Get these hats, get these hats, get these hats. WWE Universe want to see Braun Strowman oh, destroy his opponents. Oh man, Braun Strowman. My god, he just cleaned out. He just cleaned out Gulak. And Dempsey! Good lord! Braun Strowman on the second row! Oh! You don't see Braun do that very often! And Gulak making the save! And now the monster, and now, and now, and now the huge monster of Braun Strowman! Back, continues to stay in control! And Charlie Dempsey now. Oh, finding a small opening. Finds that small finds that small window of opportunity to take to take out Braun Strowman. And look at Oh oh my oh that was not smart, Gulak. <laughs> Gulak tried to tried to cheap shot Braun. Oh that was not very clever. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't call what what Gulak did was smart. As good as as Braun catches Charlie Dempsey. And there's the tag, and now here comes Gulak. And now the former NXT champion Ricochet back inside the ring. Kick right to the face to Gulak. Gulak is a former cruiserweight champion. You, you cannot forget. What kind of... You cannot forget that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He doesn't want to be in the ring with the monster among men. Oh, man. Braun Strowman. With a vicious slam to Gulak. And Charlie Dempsey. Making the save. As, Go as Braun Strowman. With a drop kick. And a running monster bomb! Running monster bomb! And the running monster bomb! And Ricochet and Braun Strowman pick up the win! Here are your winners! The team of Ricochet and Braun Strowman! Braun Strowman and Ricochet continuing to gel well as a team like they did together on SmackDown. While well, Braun Strowman and Ricochet pick up the win, but both of these guys want a future opportunity at Chris Reigns. Yay! Glitchy manager time. Gotta love glitchy manager time.
Oh man, Isle of Dawn games gives me the creeps. And I feel so, so terrible for Ann Harris right now. What that young lady is going through, what, what that young lady is going through, I feel so horrible for. Well, here comes Valentina Ferros. She goes one on one with one half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Sakai Akai. I admire her courage for wanting to step up to Sakai, but this is just this is just stupidity at its finest. This is just stupidity at its finest. And her opponent, she is one half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Sakai Akai. You got this. Well, Zia Lee accompanying Sakai to the ring here in this matchup. Sakai Akai holding holding gold once again as it sh as she should be. This woman is a star and it and it feels and it feels great to finally see Sakai once again with championship gold. You know, Sakai wanted to try and intimidate Valentina Ferros by by having her try to fear the Empress Oscar. Oh Valentina stood up to the champions and challenged one of them to a match. Look us look look at look around you. You got Oscar out here. You got Shinsuke out here. You got Zia Lee out here. What kind of odds does Valentina Ferros really have in this kind of environment? She has no friends. She has no friends. No one's going to come out and help her because who wants to mess with who wants to mess with Oscar and her and her crew? Valentina well, Val well, you got to give Valentina credit. She she bravely stepped up to the challenge. She bravely stepped up to the challenge. And let's not forget, this is Sakai's second reign as women's tag team champion. She is a former NXT All-Star Women's Champion as well. you got to give Valentina credit for, for stepping up to the plate and not backing down. And now look at this. And now Fair Rose now with a roll up. Would, would, would you call it bravery or would I, you may call it bravery I call it stupid now Pharaoh's starting to build momentum here it's maybe Pharaoh's starting to build momentum WWE Universe starting to rally for her and oh man Pharaoh's kicking Zia Lee Springboard, Harakarana could be in for an upset here. Oh man! Valentina Ferros could pull off a, a major upset here, here, here tonight. And Sakai, and Sakai, oh, and just like that, tur turns this matchup back around. You were saying for you. You were talking about. You were talking about an upset before. You were talking about an upset before. Oh wait a minute! Now Pharaohs rolls up a Kai again and a, and, and a kick out. Yeah! Close line. Oh, look at this now. Into a DDT. Sakai is down. Sakai is down. Pharaohs cover for an upset and Sakai powers out again. Pa She's not. 
Oh, and that'll do it. Kick right to the side of the head. And that'll do it. And Sakai gets the win. The Akai kick does the job. Sweet dreams, Pharaohs. Sweet dreams, Pharaohs. Thank you for coming, young lady. A valiant effort. But in the end, it was not enough. And now Zaya Lee's in. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. And now a two-on-one attack. And now a two-on-one attack. And now a two-on-one attack. And Oscar directing traffic on, Va on Valentina Pharaohs. Oh, this is not good. And now the and now the special beam cannon locked in. And now the special beam cannon locked in. Hey, wait a minute. Is that that's Julissa Leon? It's Le it's Julissa Leon. It's Julissa Leon, Valentina's Valentina's friend, Valentina's partner is back. She she's back, and now Leon using her power on Sa on Zoya Lee. and Sakai Kai rolling out of the ring. Yulisa Leon recovered from her injury. Come on! Come on! Come on, Oscar! Oh, look at Yulisa. Leon's challenging Oscar. Yulisa's challenging Oscar right now, and Oscar wanting no part of it. Oscar wanting no part of Yulisa Leon. I can't believe this. We haven't seen Leon in over a year. She was out of action with a she was out of action with a devastating injury. And Oscar in trying to intimidate How awesome is it to see Ulisa Leon and Valentina Ferros back together? Another great addition to the tag team division back. And Sakai and Zia Lee may have themselves a very dangerous duo after them. Wesley... In your house, she went one-on-one, -on -one, toe -to toe with Randy Orton. And Randy Orton gave you a bunch of praise after, after, after the match. How are you feeling mentally heading into your big championship match with Dean Franklin coming up next? It was cool, man. It was cool that I got to share the ring with Randy Orton. A bona fide Hall of Famer. He, has all the, he is a future Hall of Famer. But you know what? That's in the past. I can't dwell on the past for too long. I gotta keep focused and stay focused. You have Taito. Jinsuke Nakamura want Taito. Do you want this, Shinsuke? No, speak English. You got title. I want title. You want this, Shinsuke? <sighs> okay. Well, that was pretty weird, but... Either way, I've got a match to win. Wesley in action next.
That was pretty disturbing. Shinsuke Nakamura wanting a, taking a close eye on the North American champion Wesley. As Shinsuke Nakamura clearly wanting his shot at the title. Wesley being the fighting champion that he is. Defending his title against Dean Franklin. Dean Franklin complained about, about, about him not being on In Your House. Dean Franklin believed that Randy Orton should have put over a talent like him and not a, quote, flippy floppy wrestler like Rickish, like, like Wesley. Well, those are his, those are Dean Franklin's words. And, I, and as I've said, I like this new version of, of Dean Franklin. Yes, I called him a nerd, but this new version of this man, of this kid, has really opened me up and has shown me what he is really, really tired of. Let's not forget, Dean also tried hitting on our, our women's champion, Emily Bell, a little earlier tonight. Well, he's a ladies' man. He's being a he, he's being a caring man. And Emily slapped the taste out of his mouth. It was satisfying. It was very satisfying. Well, Dean's trying to be a nice man. Trying to be a nice guy. Well, he, well I think Dean Dean's a bit, trying to be a bit of a pervert because he has tried to hit on Harmony Kelly and and Patricia Ryan in the past. He's so desperate for a girlfriend ever since a Emma Bailey left him. Well, Wesley has got a lot of problems on his mind. Joe Gacy has made it clear that he wants the North American Championship and now we just saw Shinsuke Nakamura gunning for the title. Well, Wesley will be ready for anything, man. My God, why does my God why do, why does the North American title look so glitchy and weird? The poor, the poor, the poor, the poor thing can't can't be can't be flattened. The North American Championship is on the line. This won't be the only title we'll be seeing on the line tonight in our main event. Layla Gray, the vicious vixen, will take will will, will take on her former. Her former baddie and former friend Tracy Lara in the main event. I'm pretty sure Jade Cargill has not gotten over the sight of losing her title to her former to her former baddie, Lay Layla Gray. Oh, Dean Franklin starting off strong with a drop kick. It's not for. People tend to forget that Dean Franklin is a former NXT Tag Team Champion. This kid has all the potential to be a chat, to be a star, and a future North American or NXT Champion one day. Dean Franklin is in my fave five, that's for sure. Wesley looking for a big move and Wesley with a nice reversal. Does people remember when Book in 2011, like on every SmackDown, where Booker T would just say, "This superstar is in my fave five. Like every week, like Wade Barrett would be in his fave five. Daniel Bryan would be in his fave five. This wrestler would be in his fave five. Like, I, I remember that. It was so funny. Like every week, he he change up his fave fives to different superstars. 
If he did the fave five, if he did the fave five thing today, Roxanne Perez would be would be number one every week. Roxanne Perez would be on the top of that list every single week because he because he trained because he trained at the girl. Ooh. Dean with a nice side kick right to the face as Wesley now finds himself in trouble. And a oh, Tiger Bomb by Dean Franklin. And Wesley gets the shoulders up. Wesley getting the shoulders up. Dean Franklin looking for that Daniel Bryan knee strike. Looking for that Daniel Bryan knee strike, but Wesley can't, blocks out of it. Nice reverse, nice reversal by Wes, preventing the knee strike. Oh, nice power slam by Wesley into the into the cover on Dean to retain. Wow, that was close to retain, and Franklin just getting the shoulders up there. Oh, went for the knee. Oh, Franklin went for the knee. And, oh, Poison Ken Rana. My God. Poison Ken Rana. That could do it. And it's enough. Wow, the reverse Ken Rana puts away Dean Franklin. Wesley overcomes another challenge. Wow, that was incredible. Wesley keeps hold of the NXT North American Championship off of a reverse Ken Rana. Wesley stays on top of the North American division. Can anybody stop Wesley? This kid is on the run of his career right now. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest at this time, Layla Gray. <sighs> Layla. But Le Layla, later on tonight, you are going to defend your title against your former friend and baddie, Tracy Lara. What's your response to J? What's your response to the overwhelming support that you've gained from the NXT universe since winning that title? Honestly, it's I'm honestly over the moon. You know, not only that my boyfriend is now wanting to marry me on the day I won the title. It was just a great moment for me, and honestly, as much as I can't stand Jade, I do have to thank her for this. I have to thank her for this moment because she was the one that that she is right. She is the one that really helped me get get here. But at the end of the day, I'm the one in the forty nine and one. And Tracy, I have no problem doing the same to you. I'll see you a little later tonight, bestie. Isla, Elba, you two have my friend. And not only that, you, you kidnapped my friend, you took away Everything that means to us, the NXT Women's Tag Team Championships. As for your little challenge for next week, I accept. And I will be more, more than ready to take you two down and take back my friend. Isla, you're a creep. You've been stalking Anne Harris everywhere she went. She, could, she, can't, she can't sleep at night. She can't eat anything. She can't do anything. When, when she can't do anything without her worrying about you. And you know what? I'm gonna. And you know what? Not only am I gonna save my best friend from an e from a weird creep like you. 
when Ann Harris comes back in my possession, we're going to focus on winning back our NXT Women's Tag Team Championships. So I'll see you two next week. High stakes, high stakes drama next week as Vanessa Rogers has agreed to a handicap match between Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. Is she completely out of, she has completely lost her mind. Well, she'll do anything to get her best friend Anne Harris back, that's for sure. I feel so terrible for Anne. I could only imagine what she's going through being trapped but with Isla Dawn. Well, the New Day are back in action. And after, and after the dramatic reveal of the New Day's attackers being the Hurt Business, Kofi Kingston looks for revenge as he takes on Cedric Alexander. I can't stand these guys. And here come the NXT Tag Team Champions. Omos and Cedric Alexander. I'm surprised that thing fits his waist. There's it, and there is MVP. Accompanying Omos and Cedric Alexander. You know, you know, MVP claimed that video of them attacking the New Day. I, I cannot believe the excuses that MVP made after we showed the visual proof that it was the Hurt Business that took out the New Day. MVP claims that was just a fake video. He thinks somebody edited and modified it to make it look like it was the Hurt Business. He still claims that the Hurt Business are innocent. Yeah, he's, yeah, he said, yeah, MVP said it was a fixed video. It was, it was heavily edited and I believe him. I believe the Hurt Business are as innocent as they say. Well, there's nothing they can really say about it. It was not. It was not heavily edited. It was the facts. The New Day, the Hurt Business, were caught red-handed taking out the New Day. And now the New Day are out for vengeance. Jeez, ref, get in position. Come on, Jessica Carr. If that even, if that even, if that even is you. <laughs> Springboard DDT there by Alexander and Same, but honestly, you know Maybe it's about time for Xavier Woods to go on a singles run And Kofi takes down takes down Cedric Alexander Oh, oh man Double stomp by Kingston. And now, and now, and now controlled frenzy. Oh, boom drop. The controlled frenzy of Kofi Kingston. Cedric Alexander in trouble. And Cedric kicks out. Do you guys remember that? When, um, Kofi, when Kofi used to be called the controlled frenzy? Oh man, that's it Kofi, that's it Kofi, you got him. Come on Cedric, get him. Omos on the outside as well. Oh man, Cedric with a brutal move. I remember Kofi Jamaican character. And look at, oh! And look at Omos trying to intimidate
And, and, and Omos trying to, and Omos with the distraction. Oh! Beautiful. Omos, and Omos with that distraction, allowing Cedric Alexander to take advantage. Beautiful, be, be, beautiful stuff. Oh, man. And now, and now look at this, and now Alex, oh wait a minute, and now Alexander rolls up Kingston and a kick out. And, 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 a, and a kick out by Kingston. And look at, look at Omos, and, o, and Omos taking the trombone away from Xavier Woods. Hey, what the hell are you doing, man? Flash by Kingston and a kick out. And now Kingston. And, now, and, and oh, an MVP from behind. An MVP with that cane from behind on Xavier Woods. Oh! And now Alexander off the destruction prime time. Hits the prime time. Oh, and Kingston kicks out. <sighs> Kingston's still alive. Come on, Cedric. I cannot believe that was still not over. You want to go big? They say that. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, must get him. And here comes Big E. Here comes Big E and Big, two big meaty men going at it on, on the outs, on, on the stage. Two big meaty men going at it. The two big meat beefy men, Omos and Big E going at it on the stage. Big E has seen enough of this BS from the Hurt <laughs> Business. And MVP looking for the cane. Owens, Alex, and Woods ducks it. And Woods takes out MVP. And now Alexander. And Alexander with a roll off. Handful of tights. Oh, man. Handful of tights by Alexander. But it was still not enough. Kingston still alive. All this, all, all this chaos. Got all this chaos. And Kingston with a DDT. And all this, all this chaos. All, all of this chaos continues to go on, and look at this. So much chaos going out here in this battle. Between so much chaos going on out here. I agree, it's so hard to keep up with everything. Alexander and Kofi Kingston putting on a banger as Omos and, it, as Omos and Big E continue to beat the hell out of each other. And look at Big E, my God, lifting up Omos. Looking for the big ending, and MVP again! MVP with the cane! Right to the legs of Big E! And Omos distracting Kofi Kingston! Alexander rolls up Kingston! Oh man, so close again! So, oh man, so close, so close again! Trouble in paradise! There's the trouble in paradise to Alexander! And Kofi Kingston has put away Alexander! <laughs> Kofi Kingston had after all after all that chaos, Kingston picks up the win and Owen oh, Omos from behind! And Omos from behind with a vicious assault! And now Omos from behind! Ah, get him! And now Omos looking to take advantage and, and oh Big E! Big E's back in! And Big E with a shoulder tackle to Omos! Oh my god! Look at the power of Big E! The big ending! Wow to Omos! Wow! Holy moly! Omos just got big ending! Hey, good old manager glitch at it again. Good stuff. Oh my goodness gracious! And the Hurt Business are in retreat mode! New Day Rocks! New Day Rocks! New Day Rocks!
Big E, the new Big E coming to the aid of his New Day brothers. As the New Day get some get some revenge on the hurt business. Emily Bell. Final bell! <sighs> you have something that I want. When I said at st in your house that I was coming for you, I meant those words. Your doomsday is upon you. And I'm going to burn your championship dreams. Because Scarlet is going to put you to sleep. But before that happens, I've got to take care of Maurice. Maurice, a loving woman with her children. More aggressive than ever before. Bitter and angry because she's not a champion anymore. Well, Maurice, your time in the spotlight is over. And I plan to make you fall and pray. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, Maurice, your response to Scarlet? Who the heck does she think she is? Scary, huh? But regardless. I am not afraid of her. And I will beat her. Well, Emily, well, Maurice certainly is confident, but here comes the NXT Women's Champion. Please welcome NXT Women's Champion, Emily Bell. <sighs> well, Emily Bell joining us here, uh, here at ringside for the upcoming match between Scarlett and Maurice. Hi, Gail. Hello, Emily. What what's up, Ems? What's up, Vic? Are you are you ready to find out who your who your next contender is? I am more than ready. And here comes Maurice Pourquoi? Come on. And here comes Maurice. Got a big victory at in your house against Wendy Chu, and now she's ready for a number one contenders match. Maurice wants that title back. Well, she's going to have to beat Scarlet if she wants that title back. If she wants another shot at me, she's got to get past Scarlet to do it. And her opponent, Scarlet! Well, Emily, your thoughts on uh, Scarlett's little video and her words about you. You know, Scarlett is a... Uh, she's a talented young lady, and I will say... I won't lie to you when I said I was a little bit intimidated by Scarlett, because she does play the intimidation factor, but I'm not going to get intimidated. 
And the key word is, I was a little intimidated. I might not even face her. Indeed. Well, here we go, Scarlet Bordeaux and... And looks like Carrion Cross has joined us here on commentary as well. Hang on. Miss Bell. I'm sorry to interrupt you guys talking, but Miss Bell, I want you to look at me and listen to me closely. All right, go on. You stand no chance against my wife. My wife is going to not only choke the life out of you, she is going to rip your hard work, tick-tock, your time is up. Wow, okay then. Okay then. Well, Carrion Cross has now wandered down to ringside looking to support Scarlet. Your response to that, your response to that, Emily. Well, um, we'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Carrion says I can't beat her. Well, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Maurice now in control of, Scar of Scarlet. Scarlet now firing, up, fi fi firing right hands. And now, and now Scarlet building up, building momentum. And, vet and, and the veteran Maurice... Starting the battle back. And Scarlet with a choke with a choke bomb. And Maurice kicks out at two. I used to have a lot of respect for Maurice. You know, she was my inspiration. She was the reason I wanted to be a superstar here in WWE. And to see what she's done and to see what she did to me, turned her back on me, and turned her back on the entire NXT universe. It was sad. It was really sad for what she did to me. I thought she was happy for me. But I guess but but I guess in reality she was just as jealous as everybody else. Maurice continues to stay on top of Scarlet Bordeaux here. And everybody said that the salute the the, the, the salute was unbreakable. And you and and, and, and and I proved everybody wrong. Doomsday Saido to Scarlet and a kick out. Doomsday Saido to Scarlet. Doomsday Saido to Maurice and Maurice was able to kick out it too. Scarlet Baldo. Oh, building momentum now. And now the momentum has turned to Scarlet. And look out. Uh oh. And there's the cross jacket on Maurice. The cross jacket's on Maurice, and Maurice quickly taps out, and Maurice quickly taps out. Scarlet Bordeaux merges victorious. Well, there's your number one contender, Emily. Well, there it is, your number one contender. I'm ready. Excuse me. Oh, pray. Emily Bell and S Scarlet Ca Ca has just come over by us. Enjoy that title while you can. Because that will be mine. Is 
See that hourglass? That will be your time as champion ending. Wow. Scarlet sending a message to Emily Bell as she now becomes number one contender. Excuse me, Chris, Sky, what? What do you want? Where are you two going? We're leaving. That's what we're going. Well, Eva Marie wanted to see the both of you. Look, we don't have time for that pink-haired bum, okay? We don't have time for that pink-haired bum. You see, Chris has got media stuff to do. He's got a, being the head of NXT. He's got things to do. So whatever the pink-haired bum wants, she can wait next week. Well, in fact, she informed me that you will wrestle next week against Sol Ruka in your debut. Sol Ruka. So that pink-haired bum is doing everything she can to try and stop, to stop us? Fine. I'll be ready next week for that Sol Ruka. But in the meantime, you let Eva know that the head of NXT will wrestle when he is ready to wrestle. Let's go. Acknowledge me, Stephen. I tell you, I just do not like... Shush! Shush, please. Oh, man, it's, now it's even worse. <laughs> what were you about to say, Gail? I was about to say I can't stand this duo of Chris and Sky, but now, I, but, now, but now I'm dealing with another person I can't stand, and that's Chad Gable. Well, Chad Gable confronted Eva Marie a little earlier tonight to try and... wanted to teach her the way of Alpha, the master of the ring. Dates on Zion Quinn next. Usoasa Ulma, run it straight. And his opponent. From Brisbane, Australia, weighing in at 242 pounds, Zion Quinn. It's been so long since we've seen Zion Quinn, and it's great to have him back. Indeed, it is great to have Zion Quinn back. And he he went face to face with the NXT champion Chris Reigns at the opening part of the show when. Chris Reigns and his wise girl Sky tried to intimidate our general manager. And if it wasn't for Zion Quinn, I could only imagine what would have happened to. So here we go. Well, Chad, that well, 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 Chad, that is not going to work, young man. Well, that 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 slap to the face, uh, uh, that slap to the face, only just annoyed Zion Quinn. Chad Gable claims he's the master of the ring. He believes that nobody wrestles in it as best as he does. And a clothesline by a powerful Australian. That was Shane Thorne. They only, I think they only have Shane Thorns. They don't have Nick Millers. Shane Thorns is called Outback Dundee. Chad Gable, the self-proclaimed master of the ring, building building momentum and is now in control of Zion Quinn. 
into a submission hold now goes Chad Gable look there's nothing wrong with Chad as a performer you know everybody on the internet calls him the most underrated talent of all time and I agree Chad is incredibly underrated he he can get it done in the ring but as I've said many times he's just annoying if he stops shushing, if he, if he does less shushing and more action in the ring, I think maybe people would take him more seriously. Tiger Bomb by Gable. Quinn now in trouble and Quinn kicks out. Maybe you need to shush, Gable, because, because you don't know what it means to be the master of the ring. I'm a multi-time women's champion, Book. Now, and now Zion Quinn heading up to the top rope. What is Quinn going to do here? Oh, man. Double axe handle onto the outside. It's quite a shame that uh, Chris and his, little girl, and his little girlfriend decided to leave. Because, because Chris might be looking at the glimpse of his future of Zion Quinn. Did you call her? Did you call her his girlfriend? She is... Chris's wise girl. They, 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 they are not dating in whatsoever. They're not dating whatsoever. What are you talking about, Gail? And now Chad Gable. Oh! And now Chad Gable with vertical suplexes. Zion Quinn is now in deep. Deep trouble here. Triple suplexes by Gable. Triple suplexes by Gable. Shades of Eddie Guerrero. Oh, and a kick out. Now Chad Gable heading up to the top rope. It looks like he's got something big in mind. Cross body. And Zion Quinn stays alive. Now Chad Gable has Zion Quinn in the corner. And here it comes, the O'Connor roll, and there it is! To put away Zion Quinn, and Quinn stays in it! Quinn stays alive. Oh, and Quinn with a shot, with, with a spear. Chad Gable cannot believe Zion Quinn is still in this matchup. The Dodo Universe rallying Zion back into this match. Uh oh. Zion Quinn starting to unleash his heritage. The Australian Samoan heritage of Zion Quinn starting to unleash. Zion Quinn starting to starting to feel it. The momentum is starting to shift. And now Zion lifting his and now Zion. Uh oh. Looking to put Chad Gable away. What a massive jackhammer! Shades of Bill Goldberg! And that's it! Shades of Bill Goldberg and, and Zion Quinn! gets the victory here is your winner Zion Quinn Zion Quinn with a big win welcome back Zion Quinn and and thank you for shushing Chad Gable for, for, for everybody here tonight Ricochet, Braun. I know you two want the NXT Championship, but I want it too. Zion Quinn 
has perched his name as the next contender. Chase University is back! <sighs> oh, that manager thing works. <laughs> sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's so weird. Well, next week, Duke Hudson is going to get his MVP award. Wasn't Andre Chase thing a, a heel gimmick at one point? The first time I remember seeing it, it was a heel. He was a heel. I remember, I remember the first time I saw the 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 the. I remember the first time I saw it, it was a heel gimmick, and Andre Chase was swearing at his students and all that stuff. Well, Chase University is back, and next week Duke Hudson is going to get the. MVP of a oh, trophy for bringing back Chase University. Oh man, it's terrible enough that we've got to deal with the new day, but now we've got to deal with now we've got to deal with Chase University. There's nothing wrong with Chase University book. Jade Tracy. Coming up next, Tracy, you're going to get a title shot against Layla Gray. And Jade, how are you feeling after suffering your first loss to your to your former baddie, Layla Gray? Excuse me? Can't you, sell, can't you see Jade is not in the mood? She's not in the mood for any of your little games, Mackenzie. Yeah, I lost one match. It was a fluke. Layla Gray got lucky. That's what. That's all it is. All it takes is one lucky move. And yeah, Layla Gray got the better of me. But I swear. You tapped out. You tapped out. You tapped out. Shut up! The bad bitch is not it. Respect your bad bitch. Regardless, tonight I'm going to flatten Layla Gray and bring the NXT All-Star Women's Championship back to the bad bitches camp. You got this, Trace. Let's go. A storm is coming. And 
Here they come. And here comes Tracy Lara alongside Jade Cargill. The big, powerful Bangladeshian making her way to the ring. No special Tron for Tracy. There's there's only so much space um, custom Trons actually have. I only have like nine spaces left and I could... So unfortunately I can't do a Tron for everyone. And here comes the NXT All-Star Women's Champion, Layla Gray. The NXT Universe on their feet for the Vicious Vixen. And yes, I looked it up. Her nick and yes, I looked it up. Layla Gray's nickname is the Vicious Vixen. I didn't make that up. It's actually her it's actually her actual it's actually her real nickname. The Vicious Vixen Layla Gray set for her first title defense against her former baddie and friend Tracy Lara The NXT Universe are already reminding, uh, already reminding Tr Jade Cargill that she tapped out la 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 last Saturday. You don't have to remind her. The Dota Universe really, really laying it in to, to, to Jade Cargill. But here we go. Tracy Lara and her taking on her former tag team partner and longtime friend. Oh, gut buster! In, into the cover on, into the cover on Layla, and Layla kicks out at two. Oh, the Dota Universe being relentless to Jay Cargill out, 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 out here, out here as Layla Gray begins to build momentum on, on her former pal. Look at this! Wow! Beautiful move by Layla Gray. Beautiful move by Layla Gray as she starts to build momentum. Tracy Lara in trouble. Oh! Shut up! Tracy Lara silencing the WWE Universe for now as, na as, na as now she grabs Layla by the arm. Grabbing Layla by the arm, trying to apply, apply, apply a submission hold, an arm bar. You know, Tracy Lara, she will one day be a champion, no doubt about it. Being under the learning tree of Jane Cargill is going to help Tracy Lara a long way. Uh-oh. Layla Gray heading up to the top rope. Oh, and, and Layla Gray taking out... Oh, fisherman suplex on the concrete floor. Tracy Lara is in serious trouble. Oh. Oh, man, jeez. And Layla Gray just went head first, just whiplashed into the barricade. And just like that, Tracy Lara has now brought, has now turned this match around. Hurt her, Tracy! Hurt her! And Jade Cargill barking orders. And now a bear hug applied 
on, on Layla Gray as the WWE Universe rally Layla Gray to get back into this fight. Layla Gray is going to break out of this bear hug and a clothesline. And now a clothesline to retain the title and, and Tracy just shoving Layla off. It's going to take a lot more than that to keep Tracy Lara down. The massive, massive woman. She's a, she's a massive woman. And now Layla Gray trying to tap out Tracy Lara like she tapped out Jade Cargill. Don't get me wrong. She's got a great strategy. She's, she's got a great strategy, but it may not be enough. And look at this power. Oh, Dominator. Tracy Lara with the Dominator to become the new champion. And Layla Gray kicks out at two. And Layla, Layla Gray showing that resiliency, kicking out and now back into the bear hug. And now back into the bear hug, trying to squeeze, trying to squeeze the oxygen out of Layla Gray as the, uh, the NXT Universe rallying Layla Gray on here as Layla Gray continues to battle back. DDT! DDT by Layla Gray. And now Layla, oh, here it is, and there it is! The submission's in! The same move! The, the, the same submission move she used on Jade! The same submission she used on Jade! And Tracy Lara taps! Tracy Lara taps! Layla Gray! And Tra and Layla Gray merges victorious, merges victorious, and Owen oh, Jade from behind. And Jade Cargo from behind, attacking Layla Gray. Oh, this is now, this is far from over. And now look at this, and now a two-on-one attack. Jade Cargo and Tracy Lara with a two-on-one attack. Da -da 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 -da. Wait a minute. Oh my lady, hey! It's a Murray Miller! Here comes a Murray Miller! A Murray Miller coming coming to the aid of Layla Gray! A Murray Miller coming to the aid of Layla Gray! And La Layla Gray and, and oh! And oh, way! Amari, what the hell? Amari just clotheslined Layla. What the hell? La Amari Miller just clotheslined Layla. And now look at this. And now it's a three-on-one mugging. Three-on-one mugging. Jade, Tracy, and Amari beating the hell out of Layla Gray. What? Oh man, this is not good. Give me a mic. And Jade Cargill demanding a microphone. The newest member of the birdies, Amari Miller. <sighs> And now, and now, oh no. And now Jade has Layla. And the jaded to Layla Gray. Layla Gray is helpless. Jade, Tracy Lara, and Amari Miller. Oh man. Oh man, if you thought they were dangerous before, they are dangerous now. With Amari Miller on Jade Cargill and Tracy Lara's side, on, and, Tra and Tracy Lara's side, you can only imagine how dangerous the baddies are going to be. Thank you for joining us, and good night.
Well, well, my response to that thing that, that Emma could be turning heel, it's not going to change anything on how she's being booked. Turning her heel with Mad Cat Moss isn't going to change anything. Turn her heel and put her with Dana Brooke in the tag team division. That's all I've got to say about that.